there, fellas. Remember me? If you don't, just go into the kitchen, get your old lady out, and she'll tell you who I am. She'll tell you I'm the sexiest man alive, ravishing Rick Groove. And it won't be long before you see the sexiest man alive with the title belt around his sexy waist. And as for you ladies wondering about the rude awakening, I have raised my standards. I now come to town with a pair of size 5 Calvin Klein and a 36 double D. And if you don't fit the mold, don't dream of the rude awakening. This is a real treat for you people. I got a call to the set, especially you ladies. Look at this! Turn up your vertical hold, your horizontal graph, whatever you have your hands on there, and get a look at this! This is World Wrestling Federation. What this is, is long and lean and squeaky clean. Well, two out of three isn't bad anyway, Bobby. I get a little bit dirty every now and then, but I do whatever it takes to get the job. Okay. If there's one man in the World Wrestling Federation, Give him credit. Bobby the Brain Heenan, but Bobby Heenan, I must say, has got to be given the credit. He is responsible in part for the tremendous success that is being enjoyed right now by this band from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, just outside of the Twin Cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul, ravishing Rick Root. So much happening for you as of late in the World Wrestling Federation, Mr. Root. That's right. But he's not nearly the man is ravishing Rick Root. And there is no man in the WWF who can compare with my ravishing body. Well, I, I will give you credit for this. You do have a phenomenal physique, and I'm sure that it's something you had to work long and hard to, uh, to attain. But you know, professional wrestling is more than having a great body. And Mr. Root, I don't think I have to point that out to you. I don't think so either, because the fact of the matter is, I meet all comers. I fight anybody, as sexy as I am, when I get into the ring, I lose all regard for myself or for anything else. As far as goes. You know, I've got a couple of uh, negative uh, letters, more than a couple, I've got a, a mail room full of them. Apparently you're breaking up a few homes around the country from what I understand. That's right. I guess the ladies have a new nickname for me. They call me The Gift. The Gift? The Gift. Well, apparently, the ladies do have quite an eye for you. Ravishing Rick Rude, his manager, Bobby Heenan, sidelined for the time being, but don't worry, he is still behind the scenes, manipulating as he always is, and certainly he has got goals for this man. Just at this moment, a ravishing Rick Rude with his manager, Bobby the Brain Heenan quite honestly belittled your chances against him. In fact, he had some very, very damaging statements to make. Perhaps you'd like to respond to them, Bobby. <clears throat> well, talk is cheap. I don't like anybody with a big mouth, let alone someone with a skirt dictating us what they're going to do. You're in for the biggest beating of your life. Something somebody should have done to you years ago. And I guarantee you, in a few short minutes, it's going to happen, pal. You know, you stabbed me in the back, I stab you in the back, and now this evening we meet face to face. A man with a chip on his shoulder, and who can blame him? I made a fool out of the man at the Brother Love Show. You saw it, didn't you? I did indeed, and that's uh -huh. exactly what you saw. Uh -huh. And so now New York City seems like the land of opportunity. But what you don't realize is when you take a bite out of the Big Apple, you're going to find at the core a great big worm. That's me. I'm the worm at the very core of the big apple. And you better believe that one bad apple is gonna spoil the whole bunch. I'll see you in a short. Dude, that was a tremendous topple you had there. Perhaps you can just show them up. I talk about it. You saw what happened. I can't even classify the man. He is an animal. I found out something about you tonight. You are an animal, but all you did was add fuel to my fire. We haven't even scratched the surface. I'll be back for you, and next time will be the last time. That was one angry man, Heenan, but you, you had a magical role there. 
You know, Bobby, when I was a boy, I used to love to catch flies. And when I caught them, I didn't like to kill them right away. What I did was I'd tear the legs off of them and I'd let them fly around till they couldn't fly anymore. Then when they dropped to the ground, I'd rip a wing off and I'd watch them quiver and hurt and pain. And then I'd whip another wing off and I'd just watch them quiver. And then I watched, and when I got sick of watching them, Bobby, I squashed them. The end might not come real quick, but the end is gonna come. Ravishing Rick Root, come on in. You know, the way you wrapped up 1987, or are wrapping up 1987, I must say I have been very, very impressed. And apparently you caught the eye of others, because now all of a sudden, from out of left field, you as challenger, perhaps the number one contender. That's right, little man. You're impressed. The whole world is impressed with Ravishing Rick Root. You understand? Now, I'm not taking nothing from the man. I say right now, right here, he's the greatest champion of all time. No question about that. That's right. But I got your number, man. I know what you're all about. You're big, you're strong, but at the 15-minute mark, when that big tongue of yours is hanging down past your knees, and you're going like this, I'm going to pick you up, and I'm going to put that big 300-pound body I see him on many occasions go 30, 40, and 50 minutes at a time. Not with me. Not with me. I'm going to be in your face. I'm going to make you breathe real heavy. And then I'm going to take you down. Come on in, ravishing Rick Rude. You don't you talk about 1987. This guy starting out with Bobby the Brain Heenan. He has instilled tremendous poise and confidence in you. That's right, little man. And right off the bat, I'd like to ask you, what do I have to lose? I'll tell you what, the way I see it, you'd better be successful this go around because there are a lot of great ones that are going to be standing in line to challenge the champ. That's right, but I have nothing to lose. Nothing. He has the world to lose. But after January 9th, Ravishing Rick Rude is going to be the man. You're going to be the heavyweight champ. I'm going to be the man, and I'm going to promise you the man. But I'll tell you what, he is thinking very positively now as he enters 1988 the early part of the year at the Boston Garden, ravishing Rick Rude.